Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, this is a channel for all Final Cut Pro plugins, tricks, tips, and just a way to help you guys out in Final Cut Pro. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button and come along with us on this journey. On the screen here is our website, www.b3-studios.com. And as you can see, there are plenty, plenty of plugins here on the site. Go check it out. Some are free. Yeah, you heard right. Some are free and some you have to pay for. So just go ahead and check that out. Uh, the website will definitely help you out. Now, today we'll be going uh, over a Instagram effect. Um, a lot of people have been asking for this effect. And um, here we are. So let's get right into it. So um, this is a Instagram photo I got off of Google. So you can just Google Instagram post and you can just get a random, you know, picture off of uh, off of Google and bring it into Final Cut Pro. If you need help doing that, just comment below and I'll get make a separate video for that. But um, I drag my uh, my photo into Final Cut Pro and here we are now. So now let's get started. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this photo out. We're going to take this photo out and create our new photos or any photo that we have um, for our background. So we're gonna go to our effects tab right here and we're gonna type in mask. And you should select the draw mask and you just wanna drag that right on the clip. And as you have it on the clip, we are going to, you know, just create a mask. We can even go to 50, we don't even have to go that far. Let's create a mask to mask out the square Try to do it as best as you can, as accurate as you can, to make it look as real as possible. And once we have that, we are going to go right here in this panel and we're gonna hit Invert Mask. And now we have a blank screen. Now, let me go back to uh, Fit so we can see the full view. So now we have a blank screen. Um, we can put anything behind um, this draw mask right here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let me get my clip that we wanna put behind. Okay, so this is our clip we wanna put behind our Instagram photo. And as you can see, um, this is not how we want it. So we're gonna make some adjustments um, with the background right here. And you always wanna put it under this uh, clip so it can show up under the clip. If you put it over, that's not what you want because the Instagram photo will not be you know available so just put it under so we can see a clear view of the instagram photo in the background now uh how we want to get rid of all this stuff right here we're just going to do a simple crop so make sure this is highlighted the clip below and we are going to um crop the bottom all the way to right here and we're gonna crop the top and we're going to go right side and left side. Now, as we play this right here, Instagram clip is moving. But we want to make this look, well, I can stretch this, let me stretch this out. We want to make this look um, appealing and like have a more of an animation. So what we're going to do here. Um, I'm going to give you this, guys this trick just because you're sticking around for this video. Um, what we're going to do here is we're going to hit um, Command R on Mac. I'm not sure what it is on Windows. Um, but we are going to come to this um, time remapping right here. And we're going to click Hold. And that's just going to pause the clip. Um, so as we play it right here. It's not moving and we can uh, have some dynamic, you know, surreal kind of effect going on right now. So um, we can stretch it as long as we want as well. So that looks really cool right there. Um, I'm going to push this down, push this hold bar down. And I'm going to actually speed this up a little bit just to make um, this a more, you know, effective clip. I'm going to go times four. And once I do that, I'm just going to come about a little more than halfway 
um, where I sped it up and I'm going to hit shift B to um, kind of half break the clip and we're going to make it go normal speed we're gonna make it go normal speed so let's just give it a different um, you know kind of dynamics of time changes throughout this Instagram post all right so that's the end of the clip so we're just gonna bring this down right here so let's play this back and see how this looks looks really cool that's really dynamic right there awesome one of the tricks right there that you can apply um, for your effect um, not to make it even more interesting we can do this next trick that I'm about to show you guys so um, after you got your clip and everything is how you want it um, you're gonna highlight both of the clips and create a new compound clip so you're gonna right click on both of these and um, you see new compound clip and you can just name it as IG effect and now this is where the fun comes in now this extra part this is a plugin and I will leave the link in the description below um, it is available on the website www.b3-studios.com and this is the b3 uh, tiny planet effect so um, this is our regular compound clip that we just created which looks pretty good now to make this look even better this is what we're gonna do here we're going to add the b3 tiny uh, planet effect, and as you can see it's already working right now and we're just gonna add some keyframes to all of these right here and as the time goes on we can go about you know a couple frames in and make adjustments as much as we want and that's kind of a cool effect that you can do here in the final cut pro uh, i hope you guys learned something today um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, be on the lookout for new content coming soon. I really, really appreciate you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Go on the websites to see what plugins that you like. Um, really appreciate you guys, and I will see you soon. Thank you.